So in this video, I wanted to share some cool strategies I learned about the anchored view up. This indicator measures the volume weighted average price, but starts the calculation at any time you choose. Usually, with the default view up, it takes the whole day trading to figure out the average, but sometimes you just care about what happened after a certain point. Like maybe there was big news at lunchtime that seemed to shift how prices were trading. With the regular VWAP, you can't see how prices acted just since then. But with anchored VWAP, you pick the exact bar on the chart where you want to start the calculation. Then it draws the VWAP line from that moment onwards. This lets you see clearly if buyers or sellers have been in control since that important event. You get the benefit of VWAP, but customized to the period that matters most to you. It's neat because trading is all about recognizing when things change. Anchored VWAP helps uncover shifts that regular VWAP might miss since it always uses the whole daily session. You have more flexibility to analyze shorter windows and focus on what really moved the market at that key moment you choose. The price level represented by the anchored VWAP serves as a benchmark. When big funds and banks make lots of trades, they can't just dump it all at once, or it would really move the price away from where they want. So instead, they spread it out slowly over time. And how do they know if they're getting a good deal while doing that? Well, the VWAP line tells them. It shows the average price up to that point. On up days, the big boys buy more when price dips below the view up line. That way, they're scooping it up for a bit cheaper than average. On the down days, the opposite. They sell when the price goes above the line to bank the profits from higher than average prices. Either way, it helps those big fishes trade without rocking the boat too much. So the anchored line gives us an idea of the fair value range that all the big action is centered around. And the anchored version is way better because I can start it whenever I want, even if it was days or weeks ago. And then it will keep updating all the way to the present. So I have a view up line I can watch evolve over the whole time period I care about. Regular view up won't do that since it's tied to just one day. The anchored one gives you full control to put the starting point wherever is most useful for reading the chart. And that makes it way more helpful if I'm looking at longer time frames than just today. And it's also way better than moving averages. Starting the view up anywhere opens up way more chances to spot opportunities and trends compared to a moving average. So how to trade using the anchored view up? Major turning points or events are perfect spots to add it. Those were the times where tons of buyers and sellers were battling. So it's a perfect average to measure from. In this example, this huge crash would be perfect to anchor from. It's obvious something massive happened there to cause such move. That dip is definitely a moment the smart money was piling in. So anchoring there gives the real picture of what it's done since. Clicking right on that candle gives us a clear line to see what happened after all those people finished trading. And now it's clear the buyers have been winning since then. Most of the action has been above the view up line, so bulls have clearly had the power in pushing it up from that low average price. It's like we get to watch exactly who's been in control stage by stage after such an important turning point. Scouting for pullbacks to the view up line is one of the easiest ways to hunt momentum moves. When a market is in a strong uptrend, it's natural for it to have little breeders where it consolidates or dips a bit before blasting off again. And the anchored line gives you a perfect spot to anticipate that mini dip, knowing it's still respecting the overall trend. As long as the highs keep getting higher and price is staying consistently over the view up, you know the buyers are still in control. All you gotta do is watch for price to touch back down to the view up 
after stretching out above it. That's your low risk entry to hop in for the next leg up. This way, the anchored line basically shows the support developed since that key moment you anchored it to. As long as buyers are still strong enough to keep bounces from falling below, you know the trend is still in gear. Looking for price extremes is another way to use the anchored view up. We've all seen those sky-high price runs that seem unsustainable. When the price gets way over the line, buying seems risky. In this example, price hitting the third view up band is a clear signal it's running too hot. In this case, you must avoid jumping in because the odds of a pullback are very high. And for contrarian swing traders and risk takers, it sets up a sweet chance at a mean reversion trade. If you believe in technical analysis and that everything fluctuates around an average, well, once price moves that far above the view up, the math says it's due to a big pullback. Betting on it coming back to more reasonable levels starts to make sense the more stretched out it gets. Obviously, it takes some guts to fade that kind of momentum, but scooping for extreme spreads between price and the anchored line is a good way to trade some high-probability reversal setups. Patience is key though. No way I'd jump to sell right at the top of that euphoria, but having the anchored lines as guides, you can spot when something is overbought and do for a breather. The anchored view up line can also be used to confirm trends and identify hidden areas of supply or demand on the chart. The big thing is we can set it anywhere that marks an important switch. Before that point, the price action might not tell us much, since sentiment was different. But once we select our anchor bar, the view up line will show us the true average price based on the price action that happened after whatever event we choose. And from there, it gets real simple. If the market stays mostly over the line, like we see here, we know buyers are in control of setting the market value. And if it respects the line as support on dips, that's an even stronger sign buyers are willing to hop in at fair prices. Conversely, prolonged breaks below could mean sellers have power now. Remember, the key is choosing the right starting point to reflect an actual shift in how traders are thinking. When anchored to the right moment, the line then becomes your guide for seeing hidden levels where buying or selling finds support or turns the price around. This indicator is versatile. I use it mainly for swing trading, but if you're day trading or scalping, its power remains the same. When you plot the standard view up, you could see why you wouldn't get the full picture. It drags in all that early choppiness before the real action kicked in. But when dropping that anchored line at the morning low, everything suddenly became way clearer. That dip was obviously a turning point where buyers stepped up. So zeroing in on just the data since then, the view up line perfectly mirrors how the price has reacted going into the rest of the session. If my plan was buying a dip at the average price line, I'd be way better off following the anchored one. I can totally see several buy zones with it. The normal view up just doesn't have that precision. I hope you see how well the anchored line fits the price action versus the default one. So what are the best places to anchor the line? Like I said, choosing that starting anchor point is crucial. It's gotta line up with a real shift in how most traders are viewing things, and not just some random spot in the middle of the chart. Everyone seeing the same key moment is what will make that line a meaningful support or resistance. Think about it. If many are paying attention to the same place on the chart, there's bound to be a crowd reaction when price gets back to that level, much more so than an arbitrary drop line or a common moving average. So make sure the anchor is at an obvious turning point that others will recognize too. That line has to start where the whole market psychology changed. I like to monitor volume to find the anchor point. 
That metric reveals so much about what the big players are really doing under the surface. A high volume candle shows there's legit interest building, whether it's bulls or bears in control. Combining volume spikes with a price bump is a decent confirmation a new trend might be kicking off. And anchoring the view up there capitalizes on that shift. And the line immediately highlighted several clean dips you could have hopped in for a quick scalp upwards. Chasing volume surges is a sweet day trading approach. Let the big money lead the way to find legit breakouts. Then play the anchored view up bounces for short rides back up as it regains steam. Way better than random guesses about support. This lets the market tell you exactly where it's at. Using the anchored view up at major swings to find reversals and bounce plays is another strategy. More specifically, I prefer to look for the first pullback to the line. That has the greatest potential for a view up bounce. Just looking for highs and lows is one thing, but layering in the average price context blows it wide open. Plotting them at clear swing highs and lows really brings hidden levels to light. Just look here. Those anchor lines unveil hidden demand and supply zones that rookie traders definitely miss. Especially on that first pullback after plotting the anchor, textbook short-term setup right back to demand, and then seeing it work the same way, shorting off at supply. These hidden support and resistance zones are gold for swing trades. Scaling it down to intraday swings uncovers even more entries. Another pro move is plotting the anchored view up at earnings or dividend reports for stock trading, or after major releases like the non-farm payrolls for forex trading. Those are perfect inflection points where the whole outlook could flip. So zeroing in on the before and after gives you a tailored view of the sentiment shift. Those are obviously pivotal moments that can swing a market either way, depending on how the numbers look. Here on Nvidia, we anchored the view up on the most two recent dividend reports. Even though price traded above and below for the first line, you could totally see it respecting that level. The second anchor kicks off a clear bull face as buyers took over above the line. Seeing the reaction so clearly with this tool is game changing. It makes swing trading a lot easier. Another awesome way to use the anchored view up is around the daily or weekly ranges. Placing the anchor at previous highs and lows from the last weeks will give you several relevant levels that aren't always plain to see. With this anchor plotted, any retest suddenly becomes loaded with potential, much more so than just watching naked highs and lows on the chart. It's a really smart way to identify premium opportunities when price is testing those value areas. Having those levels mapped out will help you recognize congestion areas and will give you an early heads up on potential reversals or price continuations. Whether you end up taking a trade of them or not, the added context they provide is invaluable. I've noticed myself picking up on the market structure and analyzing reactions in a whole new light since incorporating this approach. The anchored view up is truly the perfect blend of all the key factors that drive the markets price, volume, and time. And the flexibility to drop it anywhere you see fit opens up so many new ways to analyze a chart.